Hello everyone. Welcome back to our channel. My name is Veli Gosi. In this video, I will be looking at how our body regulates the level of thyroxin hormone. So like always, in our videos, we start with the examination guideline. So this is the guideline is for life sciences. And we are still on endocrine system and homeostasis. So today we will be looking at the negative feedback mechanism controlling the thyroxine level and then I will also explain the disorders caused by the imbalance in level of thyroxine which is called goiter. So this is the content of this video. So without wasting more time, let's get to it. So first of all, I would like to explain what is the thyroxine hormone. So thyroxine hormone is secreted by thyroid gland. So a thyroid gland is the gland that is found at the neck. So this gland or this gland here, this but butterfly structure here, it's called the thyroid gland. So it's the one that is secreting the thyroxine hormone. And then the functions of the thyroxine hormone. So thyroxine hormone, it stimulates the body to increase metabolic rate when it's required so it's responsible for the increasing the mat metabolic rate so metabolic rate is the process of transferring food into energy so the food that we eat when they are transferred into energy so that process is called metabolism so another functions of the thyroxine hormone it plays a role in functioning of the heart and the digestive system and then another thing about the SH, so TSH is, this is the little information that I can give about the thyroxine hormone. So these glands that are controlling the secretion of thyroxine hormone, it's the pituitary gland. Pituitary gland, we know it's in the brain and then the thyroid gland. So these are the two hormone, I mean, these are the two glands that are responsible for secretion of the thyroxine hormone. So uh, here I have the negative feedback mechanism uh, demonstration. So this structure here, it explains the negative feedback mechanism. So first of all, we will, we must have a stimulus. So the stimulus is the one that causes imbalances as is either will increase the thyroxine hormone or decrease the thyroxine hormone. But if the thyroxine hormone increase or decrease it must be detected so it take by the pituitary gland so the pituitary gland here it acts as a receptor so if the level of thyroxine hormone is not in balance so the pituitary gland will detect and then after the pituitary gland will release a hormone that is called the TSH so the TSH travel via blood to the thyroid gland and then when it gets into the thyroid gland, it will stimulate the secretion of the thyroid hormone. Here is the simple process about the negative feedback controlling the level of thyroxine hormone. So the explanation, like if you are going to write an examination. So here is the simple definition. So when the level of thyroxine is low, so now when the level of thyroxine is low, and then the pituitary gland detect the changes. So like we, I say, the pituitary gland will detect the changes or will get stimulated. And then when the pituitary gland is stimulated, this causes the pituitary gland to secrete more TSH. So TSH is a thyroid stimulating hormone. And then when it, it secreted the TSH into the bloodstream, and then the TSH is transported to thyroid gland via bloodstream which stimulate increase in secretion of thyroxine. So you can see that the pituitary gland here it plays a very important role. It's the one that is controlling the level of the thyroxine hormone in our body. So as the secretion of thyroxine hormone increases then the level of thyroxine increases back to normal. So from low then now it went back to normal so this is how 
you will need to explain this process if you are told that the T, I mean the thyroxine hormone, it's low in the body, so you must use this explanation. And then now, uh, let's get to a place where they say the level of thyroxine is high. So if the level of thyroxine is high, the pituitary gland will detect the changes and then will get stimulated. Then this causes the pituitary gland to secrete less TSH. So now this gland will secrete less TSH. So TSH, we know that is thyroid stimulating hormone. And then the less TH cause thyroid gland to secrete less thyroxine hormone. So now the this thyroid gland will secrete less thyroxine hormone. Then the level of thyroxine decreases back to normal. Since the thyroid gland is secreting less thyroxine hormone, then the the hormone will decrease back to normal. So now it's no longer going to be high, then it will be normal. So next, it's the disorder of the level in a thyroxine hormone. So we call it goiter. So goiter is an enlargement of a thyroxine gland. So here, if you can see in this structure, this is what we call a goiter. So this is the problem involving the thyroxine or the thyroid gland. So what causes this goiter? It's an iodine deficiency. So if uh, our diet is lacking the iodine, and then we will end up having this condition. We will end up having swelling at the neck. Symptoms of this goiter is the increase in metabolic rate and then increase in cardiovascular activity. And then it increases anxiety and then the swollen thyroid gland in the neck. So this uh, the symptoms. This is all for this video. So if you have watched this far, thank you very much. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. So if you are studying, good luck with your studies. Thank you very much. God bless you.